excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Let me see that right you can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Over and over, he landed big body kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Oh, collar tie. His opponent got it in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh. <laughs> Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Huge knee lands from in close. Oh, spinning back fist. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hit to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And they 
they set him. On the inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping to. Oh, just misses with the kick. See if he can rally. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see that outside kick. He switched it up now, and he's beating up the inside of his opponent's leg. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Second round underway. Great punch landed with so much power. Trying to double up on that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And there comes the separation now. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.